And Jeff, for some working parents, the last minute closure was more than just an inconvenience. Yeah, absolutely, Paul and Pat. You know, things are quiet at this campus right now, but earlier in the day, there were a lot of anxious parents who were trying to strike a balance between providing for their families with their top priority. For restaurant worker Erica Guevara, time is money and a major balancing act as a single mom. Three kids, yeah, and then I have to come over here and nobody wants to take care of them. Today's closure of all LAUSD schools sent her into a scramble to find child care before her shift started in North Hollywood. I have to come to work and I like finally I find somebody to take care of them for at least half of the day while I come to work, so I have to live like I want today and it's hard. The same sort of stress was being felt by Daniel and Raquel Gonzalez's mother. Their father is out of town for work, and mom finally learned about the closures when she was getting ready to drop them off before heading off to work herself. We were driving, and then she like called my grandma, and we she dropped us off. So it was really, really crazy. Yeah, I felt bad because. I didn't want her to get to work late. Alex Torres and his wife phoned their bosses because they have six children in the district. They've been very nice and they just said go ahead and spend time with your kids. Erica Guevara wasn't as fortunate. She had to rely on a friend who could only look after her kids for a few hours, which meant she had to cut her shift short. Since you're leaving early today, does that mean you'll be losing money today? Yes. I mean, it's going to be really tight, like I said, you know, because those are hours that I'm not going to have in my paycheck. And as if things weren't tough enough for that working mom today, she has to commute between her job in North Hollywood and home in Koreatown on the Metro Red Line because, Pat and Paul, she doesn't have a car making things that much tougher for her today.